today we're gonna learn some Japanese from this scene. ちちすごい嘘つき。父すごい嘘つき。父 means father. Uso means lie, and usotsuki means liar. Sugoi is qualifying the noun usotsuki, so it's adjective. I mentioned about the difference between adjective sugoi and adverb sugoi in the previous video, so please check above and see the differences. Anya, ojisan tachi to onigokkoshite ta. Ojisan tachi to. This to means with. In this case, ojisan, this has two meanings. One is uncle and the other one is middle-aged old man. In this case, unknown middle-aged man. Here are the lists about the noun for these people, including father and mother. This part is the general way to call people. Father, otousan, uncle, and not related middle-aged man, ojisan. Ojisan, grandfather or aged man, ojisan, ojisan, mother, okaasan, aunt and not related middle-aged woman, obasan, obasan, grandmother and aged woman, obasan, obasan, ojisan and ojisan. Obasan and Obasan. They're similar, just single or double vowels in the middle part. But it's a huge difference, so you gotta be careful. And this part, since Ojisan and Obasan is too long for kids, so some kids call their grandpa and grandma Jiji, Jiji, and Baba, Baba. For casual, for father and mother, you can say use chan, like otochan, okachan. But this actually sounds old guys calling their parents or sounds like countryside, so I don't use it. It's not that casual, but some people use without o, like tosan, tosan, and kasan, kasan. Kids don't use that, but when you grow up, some people call like that. And for those, ojichan, 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 obachan, 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 obachan. You can use chan instead of san. You can use these to unrelated middle-aged people, but better know them in person. Some people might feel like too friendly. Ochan, Ochan, Jichan, Jichan, Bachan, Bachan. Since it's dropping O, it's more casual than the previous one. But for this part, we don't have any words for aunt or not related middle aged woman. And next, Otong, Otong. And okan, okan. These are used by the middle or high schoolers who are ashamed to use otosan, okasan, in front of people because of their rebellious face. It's a little embarrassing if you keep using them even after you become middle twenties. And next, jichan, jichan, bachan, bachan. Actually, this is used rarely, but Goku in Dragon Ball used this. And this, Ossan, Ossan. Actually, this is rude. Some people might use this to their uncle, even their father, but mainly used to unrelated middle aged men. But as I said, it's not a good word, so better not to use it unless you want to pick a fight. These are the formal nouns. You don't use this to call them, you just use this as a noun. For example, 
When you talk about your family to someone in formal or business place, you should use these. You don't say like, お父さんが or お母さんが Instead, you use these words. ちちちちおじおじ祖父祖父母母,母おばおば祖母祖母 For both aged men and women, you say お年寄りの方お年寄りの方 Anya used 父 and 母 Actually, this sounds funny because little girls use informal words. And the last one is just rude insult words. じじいじじいばばばば In anime, some kids in rebellious phase call their parents with these, or some delinquents use these to pick up a fight with someone. This is really rude, so better not to use for sure. By the way, You have to be careful. じいじい and じじい。ばあば and ばば。The huge difference, so be careful. Also, you have to be careful when you use おじさん、おばさん to stranger because some people are sensitive about age and might feel offended. So, to avoid this problem, some people use おにいさん means brother and お姉さん、sister, to call people around mid 30s. By the way, some people use おやじ、おやじ to their father, but it has another meaning, which is the top of Yakuza group, the character Overhaul in My Hero Academia. He was using this to call his pop. おにごっこ、this is the same as tag. おに means ogre. Or demon. ごっこ means make believe game. So, おにごっこ means play おに What is おにおに is a mystical creature and feared ones. These are the おに figures. Some ideas that come from Buddhism and are often introduced in Japanese folklore. The skin colors are in many cases red or blue or maybe sometimes green. And they have huge fangs and horns and always have a fierce look. Sometimes parents use oni story to their child to teach some life lessons. Like, if you don't eat vegetable or don't go to bed now, oni will come and get you, something like that. As you see in Demon Slayers, still Japanese culture is deeply connected to those mystical creatures. Some rural villages still have some cultural events to worship or related to Oni, or every around February 3rd, we have an event called Setsubun. On this day, some adults pretend an Oni and kids throw soybeans at them to drive away those evil. Why do we do this? Why February 3rd? Or why soybeans? If you have a time, why don't you Google it? You can find interesting facts about Setsubun. Anyway, like tag or hide and seek, we call seekers Oni, and who becomes Oni will come and get you. So, かか so ka means I see, or is that so? Instead of so ka, we use just so without ka, or so ka, or he, and 楽しかった。It's past tense of 楽しい、which is I adjectives, means fun. And か is the ending sentence particle for questioning. 楽しかったか Was it fun? Here the I adjectives related to emotions. Glad, 嬉しい、嬉しい。あなたに会えて嬉しい。あなた、you、あえて、see、うれしい。I'm glad to see you。あなたにあえてうれしい。sad、悲しい、悲しい。この映画を見ると悲しくなる。
このです。映画、ムービー、見る、ワッチ。ワッチンです、ムービー、メクスミサーッ。この映画を見ると悲しくなる。ロンリー、寂しい、寂しい。or 寂しい、寂しい。家に一人でいるのは寂しい。家。ホーム、一人、ワンパーソン、いる、ステイ、I feel lonely to stay home by myself。家に一人でいるのは寂しい。ファン、楽しい、楽しい。友達との買い物は楽しい。友達、フレンド、買い物、ショッピング。It's fun to go shopping with my friend. 友達との買い物は楽しい。Empty. むなしい。むなしい。頑張ったのに結果が出なくてむなしい。頑張った。Did my best. 結果。Result. 出なくて。Didn't come out. I feel empty because I couldn't do well after I did my best. 頑張ったのに結果が出なくて虚しい。Embarrassed. 恥ずかしい。恥ずかしい。人前でこけて恥ずかしい。人前。In front of people. こけて。Tripped. I feel so embarrassed by falling down in front of many people. 人前でこけて恥ずかしい。Upset. 腹立たしい。腹立たしい。彼の態度が腹立たしい。彼の。His. 態度。Attitude or behavior. I'm so upsetting to his attitude. 彼の態度が腹立たしい。In agony? 苦しい。苦しい。咳が止まらず苦しい。咳。Coughing. 止まらず。Not stopping. I'm in agony because I cannot stop coughing. 咳が止まらず苦しい。Proud? 誇らしい。誇らしい。首席で卒業して、誇らしい。首席。Highest honor. 卒業して。Graduate. I'm so proud of myself graduating with highest honors. 首席で卒業して、誇らしい。Frustrated. 苛立たしい。苛立たしいバスが来なくて苛立たしいバスバス来なくて not coming I'm frustrated because the bus is running late バスが来なくて苛立たしい scared 怖い怖い鬼が怖い鬼、ディモン。I'm scared of 鬼。鬼が怖い。bored。つまらない。つまらない。仕事がつまらない。仕事、work。I'm bored of my work。仕事がつまらない。nostalgic。懐かしい。懐かしい。このおもちゃ、懐かしい。この、です。おもちゃ、トイ。I feel nostalgic to see this toy. このおもちゃ、懐かしい。These words, I don't think they have exact English translation. 切ない、切ない。Feel sorrow, heart rending, and suffocated by missing something. 
彼のことを考えると切なくなる。彼、him、彼のこと、about him、考える、think。I feel 切ない、to think about him。彼のことを考えると切なくなる。悔しい、悔しい。Feel vexing or horrible to be put in a situation that you didn't expect and want to retrieve. 自分の実力が足りず悔しい。自分の mind, 実力 ability, 足りず shortage, 悔しい。I am 悔しい because I'm not good enough. 自分の実力が足りず悔しい。もどかしい。もどかしい。Feel uneasy because things don't go as you expected, so you feel like you want to do some action to fix the situation. 彼らの関係は見ていてもどかしい。彼らの their 関係 relationship 見ていて、seeing or watching?I feel so もどかしい、because their relationship doesn't move forward as I expected. 彼らの関係は見ていてもどかしい。By the way, when you use these emotional e adjectives with original form, the subject is most of the time I, 私 because it's feeling. You cannot tell third person feeling exactly. In English, you can say, I'm having fun. He's having fun. And translate to Japanese, 私は楽しい。彼は楽しい。彼は楽しい。Doesn't sound natural. In Japanese, you have to say, He looks having fun. 彼は楽しそうです。彼、楽しいみたい。You have to describe his emotion as third person. ちょっと怖かった。ちょっと。It's a little or a bit. 怖かった。The original form is 怖い。Scared, as I said in the previous section. アーニャ、お家帰りたい。<笑>父とアーニャのお家。This sentence, particle for the direction is missing. お家に帰りたい。に。Since it's casual speaking, it's okay without に。おうち。うち means house. This お is the particle to make the word polite or elegant. Like this, おうち。Some words mean same with or without お。But for some words, the connection with the particle becomes so strong and considered as one word, and without お doesn't make sense anymore. And similar to this o, some words take go instead of o. There's a complicated rule about it, so let me explain simply. To know the difference between o and go, you have to know kanji. Many kanjis h a s two different ways of reading, which is onyomi and kunyomi. Onyomi is a pronunciation derived from Chinese. And usually it doesn't make sense without connecting with other kanji. On the other hand, kun yomi is the Japanese pronunciation of kanji. This pronunciation is makes sense with one word itself or connecting with hiragana. For example, this kanji. There are two ways of reading. One is tomo, which is kun yomi. This means friends by this word itself. By onyomi, we read you. You. It always connects with other kanji to make words. For example, you jin. You jin. This means friends too. Even though tomo makes sense by itself, but still can connect with other kanji to make a word. For example, tomodachi. 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 This tomo. Is kun yomi. So if you want to make this word sound elegant, you can add o. But for yujin, 
you is onyomi. So it connect with go. Otomodachi. Otomodachi. Go yujin. Go yujin. Here are some examples which take o and go. Shirase. Notice. O shirase. Hanashi. Story. O hanashi. Tetsudai. Help. お手伝い、住まい、レジデンス、お住まい、兄さん、ブラザー、お兄さん、注文、オーダー、ご注文、意見、オピニオン、ご意見、案内、ガイド、ご案内、招待、インビテーション、ご招待、兄弟、ブラザーズ、ご兄弟。These words can be used without o or go, but feel a little blunt. If you want to add politeness in your speaking, it will be good with them. Here are some words category that you shouldn't add o or go. Number one. The word from abroad and the right with katakana. For example, keiki, cake, table, table, beer, beer. Those words you cannot add o or go, like o keiki, o table, o beer. To be honest, I heard some waitress said o beer in hotel or at a party. This is not supposed to be correct, but some people use it. And number two, you cannot use these two proper nouns like people name, area name, or product name. And also, you cannot use it to public facilities like a station, street, city hall, like a school. Like, eki, station. You don't say, o eki or go eki. City hall, shiakusho. You don't say, o s h i a k u s h o o s h i a k u s h o This is not correct. Number three, you shouldn't use with other polite words in the same sentence. I won't explain this here because it's too complicated, but let's put this way. If you use the same type of polite words more than twice in the same sentence, it will be over politeness and that's too much. But this part, actually, even Japanese people make mistakes a lot. Number four, you cannot use o or go to the natural phenomenon like rain, typhoon, earthquake, something like that. And number five, anything inappropriate action like murder, thieves. Just to let you know, these are just the basic rules. There are many exceptionals like obiru, as I said. To be honest, many Japanese people don't know this rule. They're just feeling it's good or not by their experience. And as I said, there are some words that connect it to o, go, or o too strong and become as one word. For example, side dish, okazu, okazu. We don't say kazu. Always, okazu. Fashion, oshare. おしゃれ、ストマク、お腹、お腹、ミール、ご飯、ご飯。And some words are still can be separated and you can use as itself. If you say without, people might feel a little bit you are uncultivated or rough cut. For example, 金、money. Better to say, お金、お金、茶、ティー、お茶、お茶、米、ライス、お米、お米、酒、ライスアルコホールアルコホールインジェネラル、お酒、お酒、父、is father。と is the particle to connect words. In this case, 
father and Anya. No is part got qualified second word by the first word. Father and Anya. This word is qualifying the next word, the house. Oite karetara Anya namida deru. Oite karetara. Actually, the correct word is oite ikaretara. Let me break this word down. The stem part is oku, means put. This word oku is conjugated to te form and connected with iku, go. This is similar to te form verb plus kuru in the previous video. If you connect the verb with iku, the other meaning will be added to this verb, which is going away. But depending on the verb before, the nuance will be a little bit different. For example, if you're combining with these words, it becomes a major, like how you go. Walk, aruku, aruite iku, aruite iku, go by walking. Fly, tobu, tonde iku, tonde iku, go by flying. Run, hashiru, hashit. Go by running. And if you combine these words, telling the status when the person leaving. For example, where? Kiru. Kiteiku. Kiteiku. I wear this clothes to go. Another where? Haku. This word is only for shoes. Haku. Haiteiku. Haiteiku. Wear these shoes and go. And the next verbs, those are the action you do before you go. Eat. Taberu. Taberteiku. Taberteiku. Eat and go. Buy. Kau. Katteiku. Katteiku. Buy and go. Put. Oku. Oiteiku. Oiteiku. Put and go. But this more like leave this behind and go. Like Anya said, in casual speaking, you can drop i. For example, Aruiteiku. Aruiteiku. Tondeiku. Tondeku. Hashitteiku. Hashitteku. Kiteiku. Kiteku. Haiteiku. Haiteku. Tabeteiku. Tabeteku. Katteiku. Katteku. Oiteiku. Oiteku. These are the combination of verbs and iku. But here, taking one more step, changing to the passive form. Oite ikareru. For how to change the verb to passive form, please check the previous video. Iku, the passive form is ikareru. Literal translation is you are going ahead by him. In English, I think it doesn't make sense. Probably people say like you are left by him. But in Japanese, you can say, Kare ni saki ni ikareru. Kare ni saki ni ikareru. He goes ahead of you, leaving you behind. Here, oite ikareru. Oite ikareru. By adding oite, it's more clear that she is left behind. In here, Anya says, oite ikaretara. This is connected to tara, if word. I explained this tara in the previous video. Please go check. Moshi oite ikaretara. What happened? Anya will cry. This moshi oite ikaretara looks simple, but many elements are included. Oku oite iku oite ikareru oite ikaretara. And 
涙出る。For formal, you should set 涙が出る。涙 means tears. This is subject and 出る come out. Tears come out means cry. Okay, that's it for today. Let's watch the scene one more time. Chichi, s o y so t s k Anya, o i s a n t a c h to Nigo c o s t e t a Soka, t a n o s h a t a c h o t o k o a c a t a Anya, o c h i k a i t a i c h i c h to Anya, no o c h i o i t e k a r e t a r a n y a Namida d e r Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and leave some comment below. I'll see you in the next one.